In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can turn your computer into a router. And if you're wondering why we do that, I mean, it's very easy. Let's say that you have a brand new connection and you have a gigalan or you have a high speed internet that is over 100 megabits because this is what happened to me. So I, I had a, a microtic laying around and I, I, and, and I called the Spectrum and said, hey, can you give me a, a gig? And they say, yeah, sure. And I was doing the speed test and say, well, why I'm getting just 80 or 90 or something like that. Okay. And I remember, hmm, cable, uh, the router, my router is old. So that is the, the case. So now I ordered another one. So I'm waiting for that. But meanwhile, I'm waiting for that. I, I'm doing this uh, video so because it works perfectly. So what you have to do in this case, you, all you have to, uh, you have to have a computer with two, Ethernet cards. So, or it could be one that is a Ethernet just for the cable, and the other for the it could be Wi Fi. So, if you have two NICs, that will be the minimum. If you have more, you can do that. But in this case, we're going to use Windows 10. It's very easy to use. So, all you have to do is your cable modem directly to the computer, and then you can use the Wi Fi or your computer. I even have one of those, I think I have one of those uh, little adapters. Um, laying around otherwise i think i put it in in, in another computer but you can use one of those uh, little adapters the, the the usb ones or if you want to put just a dedicated a psi a cable a um, card you can do that but uh, in this case i'm going to do it uh, just something very very basic so this is how you have to connect it this is the cable modem as you can see here and we have the ethernet uh, cable so go from the ethernet cable to the NIC or the Ethernet uh, card that you have in your computer. And then you have to have the other one that will be the Wi-Fi. So basically it goes internet from here to here. The computer will do all the processing power and the Wi-Fi card will be like the access point. So that way all the computer that you have around this system will be connecting to this Wi-Fi. Also, if you have, for instance, a laptop, you can do the same. You use the, the port of the laptop and then you connect it directly to the cable model like I showed you uh, before. And then you can use the laptop as a router as well. Here I have the example of the cable modem. So this is the coax. This is no, you're not going to use this. You're going to use the Ethernet core. This is the, the cable that you have to use and connect to your laptop. As you can see here, I have an Ethernet a NIC, like I said before, just for the cable. And this is the virtual box, but don't worry, this is the, the one. So here, as you can see, I'm going to show you the status. So here I have a, a gig, but like I said before, my my router is not a gig. <laughs> so I'm not getting the speed that I should get. So And I have the, the Wi-Fi. So in this case, uh, all you have to do, you go to the bottom and then you type uh, mobile hotspot you type that you will see there and now i'm going to maximize so the way you can see it so here as you can see you can share in your internet with wi-fi or bluetooth in, the, in this case i recommend using wi-fi is easier so here in the, at least in my car i have two options i have a 2.4 gigahertz or 5 or you can use any available whatever the the machine decides to do so in this case I put the name uh, Gavak uh, Dell, and here you can put the password that, that you want. So if you want to put numbers, or if you want to put, I don't know, anything like one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever works for you, you just go here. Let's say, let's put it on 2.4. If you, if you want a higher speed, you have to use a five, but sometimes if you have an old device that doesn't, it cannot take, you know, a, five gigahertz uh, if you put it in, in 2.4 surely it will work just fine or you can try to use any available so in this case we are going to put it like that okay here it says eight uh, digits so seven eight there we go save done so we have the password we have everything all we have to do now is uh, just we have to turn it on and that's it so once you do that the the system is is up and running also, in the, in the beginning, it will ask you where, I mean, what do you want to use to, to share? But other than that, that is all you have to do. And then uh, on the here on the bottom where you're going to see is all the devices. For instance, let me grab my, my phone or I'll, tr I'll try to use my other computer. I'll try to use the Mac 
computer, but I'll use the phone so that way at least you can see how it, how it works. Let's change. All right, so here we are going to settings. We go Wi-Fi, and then we should see Dell. So as, as you remember, we type one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. I think that was the, the password. We should wait, and we should be connected. So wrong password, because I, I have another password. We are going to type one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Connect, join. There you go. We're connected. So now we're going to change to the, the screen. And as you can see here on the um, on the bottom, we have the IP of my phone. This is the phone that I was using. Here we have the MAC address. It says device unknown, and that's it. So uh, the with the more computer you you have, you're going to see them all over here. And when you want to start, you know, uh, turn this off. You can turn it off uh, from here and nobody is able to use it. And if you want to change the password again, you go here where it says edit and then you can type, you know, whatever you want, something like that. It will be uh, difficult for, uh, for people to, you know, to get the, the password. But here, in at least in this case, so the way I try to make it uh, very easy. So you can type whatever number you want, just uh, save it, and that's it. So as you can see, uh, once I click save, I click connect, my phone will not be able to get uh, connected until I type the, um, the password. As you can see, devices, at least uh, with this type of system, it will allow you up to eight uh, computers. So if you have more than that, uh, surely it will not work. I never try more than eight uh, computers because, you know, usually computers are not very power efficient, but if you have a emergency, you have to manage a lot of data, usually something like that will work. If you want something like very, very powerful, uh, you can use Microtik. It will be another another topic maybe uh, for another day, but let's try it. If, we can, if I can show you here, for instance, we have Microtech, they have the GigaLine. I like I like them a lot because uh, you can do a lot with this. For instance, here I have a, giga, a gigabit Ethernet, and also you have the port for fiber optics. So if you want to use uh, that here on the on the side, also I recommend if you're going to buy a Microtech or any other ro router, make sure that is it has at least two cores or more. In this case, as you can see, this is for ISP. So this one has 36 uh, cores and I don't know how much uh, RAM, but you know, maybe 128 uh, of RAM or even more. So it depends if you if you want to create your own ISP, get one of these. Otherwise, uh, you can get even, they're very cheap if you want to create, for instance, a band a, a control. If you want to have a bandwidth control or something like that, you can do it with this uh, very easily. I have a few videos talking about that. Also, if you want to create a VPN or anything like that, instead of paying a VPN, Express VPN or something like that, you can use uh, this. And this is way more powerful than any other uh, Linksys or or Cisco switch or anything like that. As you can see here, you have another one, uh, 128. Uh, I think that is the, the RAM. And I think this is um, two cores. Here it says, for instance, the CPU is 800 uh, megahertz. Uh, good enough. Here you have the PoE, if you want to power this up over that. Also, it has a USB port. So if you want to connect one of those uh, modems, you know, like a Verizon, at and or something like that, so if you want to have a, like a backup, that will work as well. I have installed many of these for, for customers. And here you have many, many options. So let me show you here. For instance, here it will tell you, you know, for instance, this is like very, very obsolete. So this uh, router, it says discontinue, for instance, in this case, this model, a Microtech, don't buy <laughs> one core. I mean, it's going to be very, very slow. And um, for instance, uh, RAM, just 32 gigs of RAM. I mean, 32 megabytes is nothing. So as you can see, let me see if I can uh, zoom in so that way you can see a little bit better. But you can see uh, at least the amount of hours, the um, MTVF. So that way, you know, uh, meanwhile, uh, time, meanwhile, it fails or something like that before it fails. There you go. Uh, here you have, for instance, in this case, uh, this is the, the one I, I have, if I'm not mistaken. It, even in the menu, it says that it's a gig. It's not a gig, but if you see the, um, if it, even if that was true, you know, because I have Wi-Fi, 
it will not be more than uh, 300 megabits. So I'm not going to be able to use the, all the the speed that the provide the provider uh, provides. Uh, so here, as you can see, yeah, great. So here is uh, 110 and 100. So that is all, all I'm, I'm getting, even if in the menu says otherwise. I don't know if I can access the uh, my MicroTik. See, this is the, the one I have right now. Let's see. Yep. Right, I'm in. So the way, yes, right. So as you can see here, I have uh, one core, 400 uh, megahertz, and that's it. So uh, if we, I show you the um, interfaces, for instance, here, it says that I have a 1,000, a half, and 1,000 full, but it's not true. It's just, like I said before, it's just 10 and 100, and that's it. So don't be fooled about that if you have an old MicroTik. Um, is no gigabit so this is uh, what i have a uh, right, uh, right now i'm waiting for the for the new one to arrive so as you can see here the good thing is very powerful i mean the the access point is is, is very good but otherwise i try to get something like that uh, this is the the other option that i was uh, talking before and here we have few other but over time this this might change so as you can see this is all the speed that i, I can get even if i have a gigabit so this is the adapter i was talking about be, uh, before so with this if you want to share the the connection you know with the computers that you have around it around you that is one option otherwise like i said before microtech um, they have a, um, an option where you can download the the operating system they have a, an operating system that you, you can install on your computer so it will not be windows so once it boots up you're going to see like a black screen just a terminal or something like that and that's it so as you can see here they have a one is for intel so as you can see here x a, a x 86x86 so you have to download the the cd image and and there you go so you can do anything here and, and like i said it, it that will handle hundreds of hundreds of uh, connections maybe like it, it depends on the, um, the ethernet card that you have but maybe 200 300 it depends on the speed that you want to provide to your customer but i have done it with 200 on um, even a, a little bit less and it was working uh, fine even with a pentium 3 so in this case you don't need a supercomputer so you have a pentium 3 i think it was like 400 or 500 megahertz uh but uh, with the x 86 it was a uh, powerful enough but with the other um, uh, arm uh, cpus that you i took um, i said before for instance here the arm cpus one core is not enough but n 3 is another thing <laughs> so it's another story so hopefully this uh, video was useful as usual um see you in the, the next class anything any question give me a comment and i'll try to answer you as soon as i can bye